for joining me today. The weather is cooling in most of the world, including where we are, and I thought that it'd be a wonderful time to talk about keeping our skin beautiful and supple and well moisturized in the cold months during the winter. I got this question a little while back and I'm excited to answer that today. I spent 10 winters in New York City, so I know cold winters well. And I'm also a medical doctor passionate about holistic health. And so I'm excited to offer natural remedies and natural solutions for keeping our skin beautiful and healthy during this time. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tumi. Like I said, I'm a medical doctor, I'm also a dancer, and I love making videos around holistic health, minimalism, plant-based living, raw veganism, and infusing that with dance. So if you are interested in any of that, consider subscribing down below. Let's get started. Five tips today for keeping our skin beautiful and healthy and supple and well hydrated during the winter. The first tip I have around this is from the inside out, for sure. And I'm actually gonna start with something to eliminate as opposed to bring in. A lot of us, we think so much about what can I take? What can I take more of? What can I bring in? What can I add to my diet? But a lot of times the body knows exactly what to do and it's a matter of us getting out of its way basically and we can sometimes take things in that actually are a detriment to the body and this is especially so in the winter time if you're somebody who takes in caffeine so i highly suggest if you drink coffee including decaf coffee i did that because decaf coffee does have some caffeine um caffeinated teas Definitely energy drinks or sodas, which I hope you're not drinking, caffeinated sodas. You want to eliminate those things from the diet or drastically reduce them during the cold months throughout the year, I think, but definitely in the winter time because they're diuretics, which means that they take water and fluid and hydration from your body. Same thing goes with alcohol. Alcohol also is a diuretic and will also leach out hydration from your skin. So reducing or eliminating those things are really helpful. The other thing the diet to really keep an eye on during this time is salty foods, processed foods. When I work with clients and patients, I really have them start looking at food labels to make sure the sodium content of anything they're having that's packaged is very low. Salty foods, processed foods also can deplete the body of hydration. So that's number one. Look at your diet and try to eliminate or reduce these types of foods and drinks from them. The second tip I have is definitely getting hydrated from the inside out. So what do I mean by that? Definitely more water if you're not taking enough water in and taking your water in between your meals, not with your meals for proper digestion. And then also having hydrating foods. If you know this channel at all, you know that I'm a big proponent of whole unprocessed plant foods. I love hydrating water rich fruits citrus is really big and is in season in the winter time take advantage of that and have things like fresh oranges and grapefruits if that's available to you also kiwis usually around um, pomegranates are coming into season now these are all hydrating antioxidant rich fruits that are so lovely for replenishing fluids in your body. So getting your fruits on, your hydrating seasonal fruits on and vegetables is wonderful for repleting hydration that might be lost through some other reasons. For my third tip, I'd love for you to consider what you're putting on your skin. So after you take a shower or bath, many of us are taking warm to hot showers and baths in the winter time. And that can be fine, but I do recommend in the, in the end of the shower or the bath 
maybe cooling the water down and making sure you're not taking too long hot showers because that can also be dehydrating for the skin, especially if you have conditions like eczema or psoriasis. You really want to avoid hot, long showers. Cooler or tepid water showers are much better for you. When you come out of the shower, no matter what kind of shower or bath you had, really sealing in the moisture with a beautiful emollient or moisturizer. What I'd like for you to consider is the kind of moisturizer you're using, and I really recommend you using a natural, preservative, additive, chemical-free moisturizer. If you're not sure if you have this, take a look at your moisturizer, turn it, to, I don't care what it says in the front, look at the back and look at the ingredients. If there are ingredients you can't pronounce, chemical compounds, ditch it, and go for something much more simple and natural. I love things like shea butter, jojoba oil, um, coconut oil, more on the body than on the face. I have a video about holistic skincare, you can check it on my channel, that talks more about these different oils for the skin. So take a look at that and consider natural emollients and moisturizers to seal in the moisture. Immediately you come out of the shower or bath and you wipe off. Tip number four is to take a look at how you're heating your home. A lot of heaters, we have a heater we haven't actually turned on yet, um, they can be very dehydrating. Radiators, heaters, and in many places they're central heating so you don't have control over how much heating is going on. And it can really dry out the air, which will then dry out your skin. So I highly recommend, if you are able to, controlling the heat and consider if you have to use the heat, if you're somewhere very cold, you need the heat a lot, consider using a humidifier to bring more moisture into the ambient air and the air around you, especially when you're sleeping. We as humans can lose a lot of water and hydration while we're sleeping. We call it insensible fluid losses through our skin, which is our largest organ. And some of us open our mouths when we sleep and so we lose it through our mucous membranes also. And so having a humidifier to put some moisture back into the air can be very helpful in preventing dry skin, dry ashy skin during the winter or cold months. And finally, my fifth tip. It seems so simple, but I think it's amazing for the winter time, for all times, but definitely for the winter time, and that is moving your body, staying active, doing some movement play, I love to call it, really getting your heart rate up many times during the week as you can. I have some videos on my channel, I think two videos, a couple of hit movement practices that you can do at home, inside your home if you don't wanna go outside because it's too cold. But I really recommend moving your body regularly and having an exercise play practice during the winter for the specific reason around skin that it increases circulation. So when you're having your lymph mobilized and moving and you're having more blood flow because your heart is pumping, you're moving more blood flow, more circulation to the skin, and the skin is then able to have more skin cell turnover and give your body hydration from the inside out, give your body circulation from the inside out, and that will help with supple, moisturized, hydrated skin. One last thing I wanna mention is, I think there was also a question in there about moisturizing the hair. I have a whole video about moisturizing my locks that you can check out on my video. And I think it's called How I Moisturize My Locks. I'll write it down here so you can see the exact title. Whatever hair type you have, I think the video would be beneficial for you. So take a look at that if you want some specific tips around moisturizing your hair during the cold months. So those are my five tips for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe down below if you would like and share this video with anyone who you think would benefit. I send you so much love, stay warm, and take care.